So in today's video, we're going to break down some basic motorcycle maintenance. We'll cover the essentials that every rider should know from checking tire pressure to inspecting your brakes. And we'll make it super easy to follow with some fun animations along the way. Whether you're a gearhead who loves getting their hands dirty or you're just looking to keep your ride running smooth, this video is for you. So grab your toolkit, put on your learning goggles, and let's get started. All right, let's kick things off with the fundamentals, your tires. These are your only point of contact with the road. So keeping them in top shape is non-negotiable. It's like having a good pair of shoes. They make all the difference. First up, tire pressure. You want to check this regularly using a tire pressure gauge, which you can pick up at any auto parts store. Trust me, it's worth having one. The recommended PSI, or pounds per square inch, is usually found in your bike's manual. Don't just eyeball it. Uh, low tire pressure can really screw with your handling and fuel efficiency, and overinflation can reduce grip. We don't want either of those things. Next, let's talk about tread depth. Your tire's tread is what grips the road, so you want to make sure there's enough of it. You can do a visual inspection, looking for any signs of wear and tear, cracks, or anything that looks funky. But there's a classic trick for this, the penny test. Grab a penny and stick it into the tread groove with Lincoln's head upside down. If you can see the top of his head, your tread is too low and it's time for some new rubber. It's a simple but effective way to stay safe. All right, let's move on to the heart of your motorcycle, the engine. And just like our own hearts need good, clean blood to function, your engine needs fresh oil. Think of oil as your engine's lifeblood. It keeps everything running smoothly, lubricates all the moving parts, and helps prevent overheating. So, changing your oil regularly is key to a long and happy engine life. Now, how often you change your oil depends on a few factors like your bike model, riding conditions, and the type of oil you're using. But, as a general rule of thumb, aim for an oil change every 3,000 to 5,000 miles, or at least once a year, even if you don't ride that much. To check your oil, start by warming up the bike for a few minutes, and this gets the oil flowing properly. Then locate your dipstick, or sight glass, it's usually on the side of the engine. Pull out the dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it, and then check the oil level. If it's low, top it off. And don't forget to replace the oil filter while you're at it. It's a good habit to get into. The oil filter traps all the gunk and grime that builds up in your engine, so a fresh filter will help keep things running clean. Next up, Let's give some love to your chain. This often overlooked component is responsible for transferring power from the engine to the rear wheel. And a well-maintained chain means a smoother, more efficient ride. First things first, chain slack. This refers to how much the chain can move up and down. Too loose and you risk it derailing. Too tight and you're putting unnecessary stress on your engine and drivetrain. Most motorcycles need about one to one and a half inches of slack. You can measure this by pulling up and down on the chain at the midway point between the front and rear sprockets. If it feels too tight or too loose, it's time for an adjustment. Now, just like any other moving part, your chain needs regular 
cleaning, and lubrication. This prevents rust, reduces wear and tear, and ensures smooth operation. Aim to clean and lube your chain every 500 miles or so, or more often if you've been riding in, in wet or dirty conditions. A good chain cleaner and a dedicated chain lube are your best friends here. And when you lube your chain, apply it to the inside of the chain while rotating the rear wheel. This ensures even coverage. Okay, let's talk about stopping power. Because being able to slow down and stop safely is kind of important, right? Whether you're cruising on the open road or navigating city traffic, you need reliable brakes. So let's make sure yours are up to snuff. Brake pads create friction against your brake rotors to slow you down. Over time, they wear down. And when they get too thin, your braking performance takes a nosedive. They're usually behind the brake calipers, which clamp down on the rotors. If the pads are less than three millimeters, it's time to replace them. If brake fluid is dark or cloudy, it's time for a flush and refill. All right, let's move on to the battery. This little powerhouse is responsible for bringing your bike to life. And without a healthy battery, you're going nowhere fast. Luckily, keeping your battery in good shape is relatively simple. First things first, location, location, location. Motorcycle batteries can be found in a variety of places depending on the make and model of your bike. Some are under the seat, some are behind side covers, and some are even tucked away under the fuel tank. Consult your owner's manual if you're not sure where yours is hiding. Once you've found it, give it a good visual inspection. Check the battery terminals for any signs of corrosion or loose connections. Corrosion usually looks like a white powdery substance around the terminals. If you see any, you can clean it off with a wire brush and a mixture of baking soda and water. If you're not planning on riding your bike for a while, it's a good idea to use a trickle charger to keep the battery topped up. A trickle charger slowly charges the battery, preventing it from draining and sulfating. Motorcycle batteries typically last around two to four years, but this can vary depending on usage and care. If you notice your bike struggling to start, it might be time for a new battery. Last but not least, let's talk about coolant. This one's especially important if you have a liquid-cooled bike. Coolant, as its name suggests, helps regulate your engine temperature, preventing it from overheating and potentially causing some serious damage. Checking your coolant level is super simple. Most bikes have a translucent overflow reservoir, usually located near the radiator. This reservoir has minimum and maximum lines, just like your brake fluid reservoir. Make sure the coolant level falls between these lines. If the coolant level is low, you'll need to top it off. But before you go pouring just anything in there, make sure you're using the correct type of coolant for your bike. Using the wrong coolant can damage your cooling system, so it's best to consult your owner's manual. Now, coolant doesn't last forever. Over time, it loses its effectiveness and can become acidic, which can corrode your cooling system. It's a good idea to flush and replace your coolant every two years or so to keep everything running smoothly. 
So there you have it, your crash course in motorcycle maintenance. It may seem like a lot to remember, but trust me, once you get into the habit of doing these checks regularly, it becomes second nature. And remember, a well-maintained bike is a happy bike. It's safer, performs better, and will last you a lot longer. Plus, there's a real sense of satisfaction that comes with knowing how to take care of your own machine. So, get out there, ride safe, and keep the rubber side down.